Hi, this is Alex with the GNFAC with a weekly snowpack and avalanche update for the mountains near Cook City for the weekend of January 12th, 2024. This morning, we got this photo of an avalanche that likely occurred a couple days ago on Mount Republic just outside of Cook City. It broke large and wide underneath recent snow that has fallen. And a few days before that, skiers observed this natural avalanche in Republic Creek, as well as skiers and riders were noting cracking and collapsing in the recent snow. So over the last week, the mountains near Cook City have gotten about 18 inches of new snow. As you can see on this graph, seasonal graph of snow water equivalent at the Snowtel near Cook City. And that was equal to about an inch of snow water equivalent. And moderate to strong winds over the week drifted that snow into thicker slabs. And those slabs are sitting on top of a weak, sugary snowpack that developed so during rye weather. Facets. Um, that we've had over the forecast of area, we've got weak, sugary snow pretty much on every slope that has snow. Um, conditions has weakened out this entire snowpack, and it's not. We're seeing that pretty much throughout our entire forecast area. So, avalanche danger has increased over the last week. And this weekend, we're not expecting a whole lot more snow. It's actually going to be very cold. So, keep that in mind when you go out. Keep thing, Keep your um, objectives simple and take less risk when things are cold. Uh, it could go south a lot faster. Just a minor injury or inconvenience could become a major problem. Uh, not a whole lot of snow until later next week, but with this very weak, unstable snowpack, avalanche danger is considerable and human triggered avalanches are likely it will remain elevated for the foreseeable future as a very weak snowpack has been loaded by snow and wind over the last week, and it has been avalanching. And these avalanches have been triggered from a distance, showing that the snowpack is very unstable. So don't push your luck this weekend. Avalanches can break wide and be triggered from afar. And avoid traveling on or beneath any steep slopes and follow all the proper rules of travel in the backcountry during the winter. Expose only one person at a time to avalanche train and carry rescue gear. Get the forecast every day at mtavalanche.com for the most up-to-date conditions. Again, it's likely to stay at least moderate, if not considerable, for the next week, especially if we get more snow. If you're in the Cook City area, stop by the Antlers Lodge on Friday evenings for discussion about current conditions and general avalanche awareness. And on Saturdays, swing by the Round Lake Safety Shelter for 15 to 20 minutes, anytime between 10 and 2 p.m. to do a quick beacon search and practice with your avalanche rescue gear or talk about current conditions and terrain and equipment or all that good avalanche stuff. Thanks for checking in this week. Stay tuned next for uh, next Friday. We'll have another update. Stay tuned to mtavalanche.com for the most up-to-date conditions. Stay safe this weekend.